talk about the High Mall Coliseum, what it takes to get in there, and hopefully what it takes to win the fight. Um, so first we'll start off, you need a level 3 garrison. <clears throat> Once you have your level 3 garrison, you'll be able to buy the blueprints um, for your level 3 gladiator sanctum once you've earned the achievement um, the bone collector which means you have to collect 4,000 broken bones from players in Draenor um, once you've done that and you've built your level 3 um, gladiator sanctum um, right outside the gate of your garrison you'll see a, a big dude um, and you're not going to see it on this video because I've already talked to him and completed the Coliseum but you'll see a big dude uh, with like four orcs carrying him on a big chair and uh, he'll give you a quest and once you grab that quest you're gonna want to fly to Nagrand and uh, go talk to him outside the High Mall Coliseum <laughs> All right, so once you land, you'll see a question mark on the map, just like uh, I see one here. It's pretty easy. Just follow the path straight to that point. Um, you'll see a bunch of uh, el elites and some level 100s along the way. Just do your best to avoid them if you need to or, um, you know, just go around. Uh, once you get there, you'll uh, talk to the uh, big, the big dude on the chair from the front of your garrison, and you'll have the option to queue um, for the High Mall Coliseum. The cool thing is, the first time you do it, it's it's free. It doesn't cost any bones. Every queue thereafter will cost you 100 bones to queue, and it's important to know that when you queue, um, it charges your bones, and um, e even if you drop the queue, also. Right now in the game, if you're already queued and you hit the queue button again, it'll charge you another 100 bones. Now, bones are pretty easy to come by, especially if you do Ashran, so it's not a huge deal. But it's just important to know that you could go through your bones pretty quickly uh, if you're not being careful. So, you walk up to um, the entrance of High Mall, and you'll see uh, Karg here. And he'll have a quest for you to turn in, and then you'll have the option to um, enter the battle for the Coliseum. Once you've gotten your queue to pop, um, you'll have about five minutes inside the arena to get things ready. People can chat and you know inspect people, and so this is the point where people will start making alliances. Um, my strategy here is to just simply uh, not speak up, not get noticed, and for the first part of the fight, I'm just going to try to avoid people. Um, the reason that is, I just don't want to seem like a huge threat. Um, eventually, what I'll start doing is um, I'll just start putting um, my dot on people because I want to tag as many people as I can. You'll notice that when players die, a little red symbol goes up over people's heads. And what that uh, does is it's a buff that you're getting and it stacks up to 20 times and the buff increases your movement speed, your critical strike damage, and the size of your gladiator by 5%. Now the important thing to understand here is you don't actually have to score the killing blow. All you need to do is have done damage to them at some point before they die. So again, you just want to um, be as least threatening looking as possible, but uh, get as much damage on everyone that you can. That way when it comes down to the final few, um, hopefully you're sitting there with 20 stacks of the gladiators, might buff, and then... Um, you'll have a really good chance at winning at that point. Now one thing that I like to do here, you notice I'm casting Dominate Mind. And the main reason why I have that spell in this uh, in the High Mall Coliseum is because it's a shadow spell, and I need my holy spells to keep me alive. And so it gives me a worthwhile spell to cast um, that's not going to lock me out of my heals. So if you're a hybrid class um, or a class that has heals on a different um, type of spell, 
you know, definitely throw those damage spells in or CC or whatever it is. That's not going going to coincide with your um, healing spells. That way you can get locked out of damage, but still heal yourself up. So at this point we're down to the 1v1 me versus a, ba a balanced druid and at this point it's pretty much no contest because the druid doesn't have an effective silence against me and I can heal while I'm doing damage and so eventually I'm just going to wear him down. If you make it down to the final two your thing will obviously be different depending on you know what class you are and what class your opponent is. But if you've gotten the, the Gladiator's Might buff and you got a, a good amount of stacks of it, um, you're definitely sitting in a good position. If you do end up winning, there'll be a uh, chest in the middle that you get to loot and um, has some gold and honor and things like that in there. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Good luck in the Coliseum.